Hello and welcome to another Unreal Engine 5 video. In this video, I will implement the calculation of the effective armor of the tank, uh, which will be based on the uh, thickness of the armor that we uh, use, and uh, also on the angle uh, or the slope of the angle uh, of the uh, armor, and also on the impact angle of the uh, projectile. Uh, we will use this formula means the effective uh, armor is a product of uh, <coughs> divide the real armor value on the cosine of the impact angle this this angle so we need to first to calculate this angle now let's go back to our uh, our uh, project tile, our shell here in the shell for the tank that we use for me I made a, a project tile for the T72 tank now we need uh, first to calculate the, the impact uh, angle of the project tile so start with uh, we need first a custom event let's call it calculate armor or call it effective armor we need two inputs one is the normal and the other call it the impact point both uh, variables should be uh, vectors change it from this uh, tab for the normal we need to normalize the vector to make the value as one and we need the dot product the other vector we need uh, is the projectile impact point we need the vector of the impact point so we calculate it by uh, subtraction subtracting the impact point of the projectile minus the uh, the origin of the projectile which is uh, which equals to the uh, socket gun socket that projectiles spawned from so we need a reference for the uh, tank our tank so at beginning play we need to cast to the blueprint of our tank First, we need player pawn, then cast to whatever your tank you made. For me, is the T72 tank. Now, let me just delete this old variable. Now, now let's get the socket location here we get the variable of our tank then get mesh then from the mesh we get socket location we need the name of the socket we go to our uh, tank mesh the socket that I use to spawn the tank as the projectile is uh, this one called gun joint socket but uh, you can use whatever socket you have you made and paste it here because we need it exactly the same then we need another normalize for this product and connect it here to the dot product and this dot product we need to get the angle in degrees so we get the inverse cosine I think it's called Arcos here Arcos we type cosine yeah this A cos in degrees 
Now let's uh, check the values that we get. Now this angle that we have here, let me just implement it here, calculate. You put the custom event here just after the impact of the projectile. And we need the normal here. From here we get it, the normal and the impact point. Now let's uh, find out what angle that we got here. Now we, should, now we have 139 degrees. Shoot at this cube. Just put it in front of it. One seventy one degrees. This means this means that we are getting this angle, this big angle. So we need this small one. We get it by subtracting one eighty from the angles that we got to get this one because you you know that the angle equal uh, in, uh, in this straight line here is 180 so if we have this the the uh, this angle here so we can just subtract 180 from this angle to get the impact angle here so and go back to our blueprint and to the custom event here we subtract you get the product uh, this the angle that we have in the second pin and type here 180 to subtract it from the our angle so now let's try let's see okay, it's 41 degrees and if we should have this now it's 4 degrees it's almost vertical so I think we, uh, we are done with the angle now what we need is to implement this formula the effective armor equals the real armor divided by the cosine of the uh, angle of impact now we have the angle of impact and also we have the uh, armor of the tank that is known so here now just for the to try something I will set the armor as 200 first uh, we need the cosine of this angle cosine degrees also we need divide move this pin to the second pin uh, here in this pin we will put the armor of the tank now uh, let's try 200 now, you see the effect bar more is 260 now if we shoot a completely vertical uh, armor like this we get the same armor value that we set so now the only thing that we need to do is to implement this on our tank. Let me just comment on it. Let's comment. Uh, calculate. Effective. Armor. Uh, 
here after we calculate the impact uh, angle uh, let's uh, promote this to a variable call it uh, impact angle we will use this impact angle and uh, use it in our in the tank that we hit and to calculate the uh, effective armor uh, now we need to make an interface to communicate uh, these uh, values and send it to our blue our uh, tank blueprint so we need an interface call it int armor penetration and damage we will also utilize this uh, interface uh, in the d damage calculation of the damage and penetration we need two inputs the projectile penetration projectile penetration we need as, uh, to be a float and also the uh, uh, angle of impact angle of impact also to be a float then we go to our uh, tank that uh, we wanted to receive the damage we implement the interface damage and penetration here we find the interface here on the left side right click we implement the interface here promote this to a variable projectile penetration let me just delete this old one now make it as a variable again and the angle of impact now we have these two variables let me just uh, comment on it Armor penetration and damage because we will use it in the future as the node for the damage instead of the apply point damage or radial damage. We will combine them in one node. Now we need to calculate the uh, The armor penetration now we set our armor here as 200 so uh, as I said we uh, implement this formula effective armor is the armor divided by the cosine of the angle this angle that we have uh, already we made, we made the we calculated the cosine of it let me call it cosine to not mistake and make cosine again now we divide the projectile penetration uh, or uh, sorry we divide the armor the base armor on the cosine of the angle promote it to a variable call it effective armor now let's uh, 
just test first we go back to our uh, shell projectile and here we need to uh, call the interface damage and penetration we need the message of the interface the angle of impact here and the penetration also here and also the other actor we connected to the target now let's test Bigger values because they are more near the slope. So, we get 400 millimeter effectively because the uh, armor is uh, sloped at more than 60 degrees. Now, uh, well, I think the video is becoming too long. I do not want it to get. Uh, longer than half an hour so uh, for uh, I will stop now and will make uh, the rest on, for, on the next video for on the next video we'll make the uh, frontal armor and the side armor and the turret armor will make them have uh, different values depending on the physics assets that we will remake again and adjusted uh, to our needs and uh, give this uh, armor the side and the front gives them different values depending on the physics asset so uh, thank you for watching see you on the next video